everybody welcome back to the show it's your boy kenny bringing you another spoiler free review you know exactly what we're getting into today dr strange in the multiverse of madness one of the most anticipated flicks coming this year man so make sure you don't go nowhere don't touch that dial click the like click subscribe if you're watching us over here on the youtube channel and if you're listening on the audio format podcast feed, baby. Keep clicking those download buttons on every single episode. You'll never have a single dose of that dopeness missing from your computers, missing from your files, man. And it helps out the show immensely. And we thank you for it. But with no further ado, let's get right into this thing. And I've got to say, man, where do I fall on this film right here, man? A lot of anticipation. A lot of people had some really high expectations going into this thing. But I did not personally in the same way pers uh, as some people did. I expected a good movie because I usually do from MCU stuff at this point. We're 20 some films deep, man. 25, 26, something like that. So I do expect a certain quality to a certain point there. But I just wanted to go in open minded, get some cool cameos, have a good time and get some good horror vibes like they promised. Did they deliver on that? Yes, they did. And I got to say, I enjoyed the hell out of this thing from start to finish, man. I have a few issues with it, and I can't get into the specifics of those too much right now on the spoiler-free review. But make sure you guys tune in in about a week or so from the time you guys are seeing this episode right here. We're going to have a full spoiler discussion talking about this and the Moon Knight series as a whole and the finale and all that good stuff. So make sure you guys tune in for that when that drops. But this is strictly spoiler free so no worries on that but just overall giving my overall thoughts on this thing man starting off with just some of the characters the main ones man dr strange just giving you some background on me as a dr strange fan in the mcu and outside of it never was a huge dr strange fan growing up you know what i'm saying i was aware of who he was didn't read his comics or anything like that there wasn't a ton of content out at the time of Doctor Strange before his movie dropped and all that. And when his movie did come out in 2016, although I was excited for it and I got to see like a little early preview of part of the film as well, and that hyped me up even more. But by the time I did see the finished thing of the 2016 OG film, I didn't necessarily love it. I liked it, don't get me wrong, really enjoyed it, but didn't love it, you know what I'm saying? Had some issues with it, thought it was a little generic, a little too much to the Marvel formula, and not in the sense of that it can't have any of the Marvel stuff that we know in the film at all or any movie like that or whatever. I get that it's going to have some of that trademark Marvel stuff there, but overall, it was just the straight generic stuff other than some of the visuals, you know what I mean? And the fact that they're using sorcery, magic, whatever you want to call it, in this instance. So that was really the only main difference there. But overall, man, I got to say, when it comes to this movie right here and the journey that Doctor Strange has been on in the Avengers films and other things that he's appeared in, up to this point in the journey he goes on in this film, I loved his arc so much, man. He has so much growth and development, and I think they did a very good job, Sam Raimi and the team, of bringing that to light here and really making you actually kind of invest in Doctor Strange's journey and wanting to see him truly happy, you know what I'm saying? And if you've seen the first Doctor Strange movie, you know what I'm talking about. And overall, I actually did, or overall, I don't know why I kept saying that, but I did just rewatch the original Doctor Strange recently, and I did enjoy it quite a bit more than I had previously. I wouldn't say it like jumped up a whole like like two points or so, but it did definitely jumped up about a letter grade or like a point. You know what I mean? I'd probably give it like a seven and a half or eight out of ten now. You know what I mean? Like I actually like it a, a good bit more than I used to. You know? So overall, going into this, man, and seeing what they did with him in Multiverse of Madness without getting too deep into it, man, 
Just really love all the development. And, of course, Benedict Cumberbatch's performance is so awesome getting to see the different versions that you may see of Doctor Strange throughout the film. I think he does a very good job with that. And you know that that's a case. That is the case because of the trailer, so you can't say that's a spoiler, y'all. Please. That's been out there. I'm I'm not going to say which version that or versions, but you know what I'm saying. But there's at least, you know, some some variants out there of Doctor Strange, Stephen Strange, and it was really cool getting to see all that. And when, now we're going to jump on over to one of my favorite characters of the MCU overall, Scarlet Witch, a.k.a. Wanda Maximoff. Loved her in this, man, and she has such a great role to play in this one, man. And El- Elizabeth Olsen's performance is so fantastic. She just steps it up every single time from Age of Ultron to WandaVision, just leveling up the character every single time she portrays her on screen. And right here in Multiverse of Madness, she is killing it, man. Loved all the magic stuff and everything to do with that. And just loved all the twists and turns and all the great uh, and the great journey that Wanda goes on as a character. You know what I'm saying? And Without getting into spoilers, you know, there's going to be quite a bit to talk about in that spoiler discussion, man. So you don't want to miss that. Can't wait to get into that with the boys in about a week or so. So going to be good stuff. But really loved her in this overall. So enjoyable. So well done. Love Elizabeth Olsen in this. Wanda Maximoff. Scarlet Witch. Chef's Kiss. Right there. Let's go. And one of the new additions right here, America Chavez. You know what I'm saying? really dug her overall and liked her introduction in this. You know what I'm saying? I felt like the character was very relatable and very, uh, I thought the actress, I can't remember her name right now, forgive me. I'm going to have it up on the screen here, but I thought she did such a great job at holding her own with the actors and really just delivering an awesome performance, whether it was the action, physicality side of things or the more drama or the more dramatic, more, you know, intimate uh, moments. I thought she did a great job in all of that. And just seeing the character's journey and her arc was really awesome to see. And her power set, which I will leave for you to see in the film, just in case, for just for some of those out there that may not know what her power set is, really cool stuff there. And she plays a very integral role in this film as well. So really awesome to see her back and forth with Benedict Cumberbatch and think they have a really great rapport together and hope to see them team up again in something in the future. You know what I'm saying? So really dug her overall as well. Wong returns and he's awesome. You know, he's up in here, man. He's doing his thing. And just got to say, all the actors, everyone that was in the film really brought it. And it was just really well done in that regard. And the elephant in the room, Sam Raimi, one of the illest directors of all time, the legend of Evil Dead fame. Of course, the original Spider-Man trilogy back in the early 2000s, man. I was there for all of that. And this is his first directorial effort since Oz the Great and Powerful over a decade ago. So it's good to see him behind the camera, man calling all the shots, and his style blends into the MCU and brings it such a breath of fresh air and a lot of creativity. A lot of cool horror vibes are here, man. And the Sam Raimi style is here to shine and is very prevalent in the film. All the Dutch angles and all the zoom-ins and all the cuts and the way that he puts things together and the way that he constructs certain scare scenes and action scenes and certain tense moments and all that. The way that Sam Raimi puts his films together, if you know Sam Raimi's style, it is very prevalent here and well done and is such a joy in this film, man. And just really brought the enjoyment level to a whole nother level for me, especially in the second half of the film. Man. So well done, and I want to see Sam Raimi come back and do something else if he wants to do so, or if he wants to go off and do some original stuff, totally up for that too, but I hope he stays directing some movies. I think he's got a little more wind under those sails, man, so I want to see him keep doing stuff. He did such a great job here, and he just nailed it overall, man. And when it comes to the story, I think for the most part, aside from a few clunky elements that I will get into at a future time when I can spoil the hell out of it, It is really well done, and I think they focus on the story and don't get caught up in too much of the multiverse and the cameos and all those shenanigans. I think they stay focused on the story, which is very primarily focused on a handful of characters, and I'm pretty sure you know who those are. But just to be careful to avoid all spoilers, I'm not going to say anything, but you know Doctor Strange is obviously the main character. His name is in the title. 
They do a great job at keeping the focus on him and other people involved without getting too concerned with the multiverse and all that other crazy stuff. But don't forget and don't sleep on these cameos and these cool surprises in this, man. Well done stuff. Such fun. Some really cool surprises. Even though I got spoiled on one particular thing beforehand, I wasn't aware of another aspect of it. So it was still a surprise at the end of the day. Really cool stuff. I'm pretty sure those in the know are going to pick up on what I'm hinting at. Awesome. Really love what they did with that. And overall, man, I got to say, the action scenes and then the visuals and all that stuff was so well done. The cinematography and all that was so spot on. Sam Raimi and whoever the you know DP was, those guys did a great job at really capturing a dark, gothic horror vibe with this movie and really bringing a new visual flair to the MCU and bringing some really creative energy and just a lot of creativity to it in general. Really dug that, man. And just the score from Danny Elfman as well. Very welcome addition to the team, man. Very welcome addition to the MCU. Love Danny Elfman. He's the guy that's done so many classics before. Come on, man. Spider-Man, Batman, Edward Scissorhands. The, the name goes on. I mean, the list goes on. Danny Elfman's done it all. So really cool getting to see him jump in here and bring some really cool music. And his style definitely fits very well here and fits very well with Sam Raimi due to the fact that they worked on the Spider-Man trilogy and possibly other things as well. So cool to see that team up again. Definitely going to get that soundtrack. Really dug the score overall. Had a little bit of a metal vibe to it, a little bit of a rock vibe at times. So definitely enjoyed that, man. And overall, the way that everything comes together with the horror vibes, the MCU tie-ins, all that stuff, I think is pretty well done and balanced well throughout the whole thing, man. It is really such a fun time at the theaters. It is a fun watch. I really recommend this, especially for horror fans and really like hardcore MCU fans. But if you're a little more casual on both ends of the spectrum there, I say go in with an open mind, lower your expectations a bit, and go in to just have a good little bit of a freaky, zany time. Overall, man, right now, I'm not settled on a final score, but I'm hovering around an 8.5 or so. Really, really enjoyed this fucking movie, man. It is so freaking, fuck that, man. It is fucking awesome. I love this movie overall for the most part, man. Just a few clunky elements I'll get into in the spoiler discussion in the near future. But overall, man, it is such a fun time and a very welcome addition to the MCU and I think it's going to rank pretty high, man, overall for me. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Please keep it spoiler-free until we do that spoiler discussion episode at a later date. Don't put any spoilers here, please. We want to keep this as a safe space for all our fellow fans out there that haven't had a chance to check it out. But for those who have had a chance to check it out, let me know what you thought about it down below. And I want to hear from y'all, man, if there's any dope content, any cool TV shows or movies that you want to recommend to us, music even, you know what I'm saying, video games, let us know if you have any cool recommendations, we'd love to hear from you over on the social media and all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, stay tuned, don't sleep, and we'll see you again real soon.